So the treatment I had yesterday at the lovely Lisa's was like cooked rice with particular herbs for my conditions um, and then plopped in boiling milk having having its way with ginger and garlic and then having hot oil put on your body and then these little like um, calico packets that are boiling hot like put on all your all the different sites of inflammation and then I was popped in a um, home steamer room you can just get one of these little steamers in your house um, but it's very important that you only get steamed to the point of that you feel light, not three minutes more when you'd feel dizzy. Very, very particular with this. Anyway, when I'm, um, and I tell you, getting a Vedic treatment, it's not like you can just, you know, pop a frock on love in your heels and get back to work because you are just covered with oil from head to toe and really thick oil. Like it's really full on, really full on treatments. Anyway, all these red dots appeared on my forehead, which I don't think you can really see them now. I've got a bit of tinted moisturizer on and they're nowhere near as full on as they were when I left the house yesterday. I was just like, fuck. Um, so when I rang Rupa last night to ground in about uh, the treatment and today, and I told her, she's like, oh, wow, that's really interesting. My body is choosing to let go of mental armor and of course, mental and mental armor, mental toxicity, armor is the evading word for toxicity. And so what this treatment is about is absolutely disintegrating armor. Um, so thoughts are so connected to the spleen, which is, you know, totally, you know, where it all began with me. So it's very much on track because she said that my, she said there could be these red spots anywhere all over, anywhere on my body, but the fact that it was across my forehead, you know, is really interesting. So today I'm going to her and just walking to the school and she's giving me the same kind of treatment as yesterday, except it's a total dry treatment. We've spoken a fair bit about the lead up to the Panchakarma, which is like uh, the full on cleanse part. Now, What's interesting is that if you go to an Vedic um, place in Bali or something for a week, they just hardcore hit you with a cleanse straight away. Whereas in the traditional way, you know, it is a six week tradition, if not longer, because there's a whole lot of nurturing that needs to go on because you actually have to be well enough to cleanse. The Chinese see this as well. Whereas a naturopath would often just get you to cleanse straight away. Um, not to beat up on naturopathy because a lot of their medicine is a fusion of ancient medicine, but it's not a p complete medicine like the Vedic and like the Chinese medicines, you know. And um, it hasn't worked for me, that's what I can say, because it, it's often raw foods and very cold, uh, which if you've got like a, you know, a digestive system that's not working, it's kind of like you're a baby or an old person. You're not going to give a baby a stick of carrot dal, are you, you know? Um, you're not going to give an elderly person a green smoothie. You're going to give them a, you know, nourishing soup, you know, mashed food so that the cooking is seen as the first stomach, you know? So there's a digestion that's going on. And by and large, most of us have really questionable digestive systems. I mean, I've got a friend who went really full on on, you know, raw kale and just got sicker and sicker, you know. Even cooked kale. I I went for, I'd say, 15 years of having the three to four different varieties of kale always cooked, but it was kind of my main vegetable because I've always lived on my own. Uh, I just thought, well, you know, that's superfood. But it ends up that I have severe sensitivity to kale because it's actually an incredibly hard vegetable to digest. I think in this day and age we're all pioneers and so we all grab on to things and then in normally in a white culture as well we get really like full on and we have a lot of it and uh, often and a large quantity instead of using all the food groups spasmodically you know we kind of get really hell bent on one thing you know um, like me and my, you know, after I do a three hour practice, I'd have a scotch fillet and, um, 
you know, lots of vegetables for breakfast. Um, when I was really on the paleo and the Western Price Foundation, and I fused it with um, being an O-blood type. And I was kind of fused all those kind of um, eating plans together because what was very clear for me is that I could not digest grains and either can a lot of people and that's a real problem, you know, because according to Chinese and Indian ways, it actually takes the rice to take the nutrients into our blood. However, so many people bloat with grains. And so I think we've gone into the paleo thing of like, oh, that's because they're not good for us. And that's because, you know, our forefathers didn't, you know, stop down and eat them, you know. I'm really of the opinion that we're supposed to be able to digest them and working on finding the solution to digest them is the answer. You know, diet is so personal and private and, uh, you know, so I'm not, you know, this is just my experience and how I'm seeing it for me. Um, Rupert even said that, you know, we might even go for six weeks. You know, we've got to just completely go with what goes on every day and what your body is actually saying and where it's ready to go next. Uh, she was absolutely 100% for the diet that I'm already on, being my diet, until she starts taking the chicken off me and the eggs off me, where I'll go vegetarian. Um, and the dal, dal will get sloppier and sloppier. So, you know, it'll all, you know, all start to get very more minimal with food uh, before I start the um, big cleanse component of uh, this journey. Um, journey. It's such a shame reality TV um, talent shows have stolen that word from us because you just feel like a complete wanker when you say journey. However, you know, healing is a journey and it's not a destination because other stuff will come up, you know. I just want a fair fighting chance. I mean, to me, if I was well enough that my body would assimilate the beautiful food that I give it and not go scratching around for, you know, natural confectionery lolly snakes at any given time or you know, organic, gorgeous little chocolate licorice balls. Oh, licorice, licorice and I. But you can get gorgeous spelt licorice. Anyway, um, more later, clickety click, 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 and can you see my red dots? I'll speak to you soon.